Hey everyone, welcome to Shimmer Girl Talks. Today's topic is that riot mayhem fiasco that happened in Chicago. It was like the second week of April, 2023. It was a mass um, crowd of black teenagers causing havoc in Millennium Park in Chicago. I love visiting Chicago. It is a, it's a beautiful city. I think uh, at nighttime, it rivals New York. I always felt like New York was like absolutely beautiful at night with the glittering lights and stuff like that. But driving into Chicago at night is, is absolutely beautiful. But that's not what this video is about. I just wanted to talk about those teenagers that did that. That is many decades of, I'm going to assume, fatherless homes, probably at a 70% rate. Um, you know, in a lot of cases, I'm willing to bet that um, the parents of these children probably had them as teenagers or very early 20s, never married, just complete dysfunction, and to make matters worse, you had the mayor-elect, Brandon Johnson, basically excusing them. Oh, they're just children, teens being teens, don't vilify them and stuff like that. And that's kind of a problem right there because there's already a lack of accountability in our community as it is. And so you have these children tearing up people's cars. You had, uh, I think, a couple or two pulled out of their cars, beaten on, and who had to clean up that mess down, you know, downtown Chicago? That was a hot mess. And the world is looking on at our community. We seem unhinged, uncouth, out of control, and we want to make excuses every time for situations like this. And this is not helpful for our social, our social standing. It's another word that I wanted to come up with. We always want to cry victim, but then we victimize. You know, we want other people to be accountable, but we don't want to be accountable. It's just a lot of stuff that goes into our community. And again, we don't want to be held accountable for anything. There's probably no way to track down the parents of the children that did this, but someone needs to be held accountable for this, for that, for that situation that happened. And, and I'm just going to speculate here. I believe that Brandon Johnson, the mayor elect of Chicago, the reason why he did not want to vilify those children that did that or hold them responsible it's because he wants to hold his spot. He wants to remain the mayor. If he says something about the, the mothers of Chicago's precious, he didn't do nothing, she didn't do nothing children, then he knows that he might be a one-term mayor. That's just speculation on my part. Another reason why I feel like he maybe did not vilify them or hold those kids responsible is because Typically, when you see, for example, white kids, for example, I mean, you I don't think that you would see them at this level of, you know, being out of control in such a massive number. But I think a lot of times those kids tend to have um, protection. You notice they don't seem to get into trouble the way like a black or a brown child or children would get into trouble. So he might have been trying to have those kids back in that regard, but that is not helpful for a crowd that size because you're going to have a lot of those children who were out there wrecking havoc. A lot of them are going to go on to being criminals. They're going to end up in prison. I can almost guarantee that. And I'm not hoping that. I'm not you know, but look, I mean, the odds are kind of in that, are kind of leaning that way. When you don't hold people responsible for the things that they do, they get worse. 
progressively worse because, oh, I did this. Nothing happened to me. I got a slap on the wrist. It gets worse. And um, so that was my off topic Tuesday video for today. So if you made it this far, I hope you like, subscribe, but please check out my other videos before you do. And I will talk to you later. Bye.